Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me in this video series on how to raise quail. This is such an amazing hobby if you know what you're doing and you get fresh eggs every day. So let's get started. Quail have some basic needs like shelter, food and water and some entertainment. I will talk about the food and water later in the video. Right now, let's focus on their housing. You can be as fancy as you want to in regard to their housing, or you can just make something very simple. You can buy a cage that's pre-made, or you can make it yourself for very, very little money. So I'm going to show you an option that's under $50. You can make something like this out of a large Rubbermaid tote. This can comfortably house from four to six quail. It's recommended that you can uh, house between one and five birds per square foot of cage space, but I think five is a little bit much. I would prefer between one and or two birds per square foot. In this type of setup, it's super important to drill a bunch of holes in the tote to make sure there's plenty of ventilation for the birds. Next, I will show you what the maintenance is like and talk about the sandbox and the waterer and the feeder and what it takes to keep your birds happy. You'll see that this is really easy to set up. I am going to uh, clean this housing by first removing all four of these birds uh, into a separate cage because I don't want to work in their um, home when they're in there. It's a little bit, uh, I think it's stressful to them. I mean, it looks like it's stressful to remove them from where they are, but they'll be happy. Trust me, they'll be really happy in the end. Something to keep in mind when you are um, getting your quail is um, try to get them when they are at least three weeks old. Baby quails are super, super cute, but they are so hard to care for. It's like an entirely different way of caring for them. And by three weeks, usually you are able to tell whether they're male or female. And they are less expensive when they are three weeks than when they're older. So So I'm starting to clean this box by removing everything from the box. And uh, I found some eggs here. Now when you're handling quail eggs, be very careful because they seem to be uh, way more fragile than chicken eggs. Uh, however, the membrane is pretty tough. So in order to crack a quail egg, there are uh, special kind of scissors that you use to uh, crack the eggs. I'm checking to see if there are any more eggs hidden in this um, pine shaving. So yeah, so the bedding is pine shavings and I put about an inch or an inch and a half in there. They like to dig in there and um, just throw it all around and you'll see in a little bit how um, some of the shavings actually got in the food. And uh, as I'm digging for eggs, I noticed that uh, this bedding is a bit wet there and that's because the pre previous water I used um, had a leak in it. So I actually removed that water and uh, put in a new one. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out all this wet uh, bedding and I'm going to put it in the composter. And here are a couple more eggs. I want to mention that I'm going to have uh, some videos on how I compost all the bedding and the waste, uh, the manure from the quail. So um, uh, stay tuned for that. Knowing that all the waste and the bedding and all that will go into my garden and make it lush and beautiful and productive makes the job a lot easier to do. Yeah. 
I will add a little bit of fresh pine shavings. And this is uh, some sand. This is some regular um, sand. Put it into a plastic shoe box. And here's the feeder. Just a plastic shoe box with holes drilled in there. And the quail will stick their head in it and eat. There is a bunch of pine shavings in there because they like to toss it around. So uh, I'm going to open it up and remove as much as I can. It's hard to do it with just one hand. All done, and that is the feeder. Really easy and simple and inexpensive. Now let's take a look at the water. This has a cup that is uh, installed in there with a hole in the jar. And the way water comes out is when the birds try to um, get water at the bottom, their beak touches that yellow uh, thing right there. It's spring-loaded and water will come out when that is um, being touched. So um, you can get this at um, eBay or Amazon or a feed store. I've seen them anywhere between a dollar to I think two fifty a piece is the most expensive. So it depends on how many of them you get. If you buy them in bulk, it's less expensive. So yeah, so there's the feeder and there's the water. I mean, the shoe box is like a dollar and you can get the cup. I guess you can get it for two dollars. So, and then the jar is something that you have laying around. So that's like three dollars for all that. Okay, now that I uh, am done with cleaning, it's time to put these babies back. Well, they're not babies, but yeah. And uh, the cage that I'm in, that I have them in right now, is a, a prefab cage. And I'll make a video about it another day. All right, so when you're catching the bird, and this is one of the reasons why I don't like this cage very much, because the opening, if you can see here, is really small. See? So you have to be really careful when you catch your birds. Make sure you grab them by the wing, so the wings there you go. They don't flap away. There we go. Got her. And that's it. I know it looks really stressful and traumatizing, but they'll be okay. They'll be very happy with a nice, clean home. Look, they're already playing with their sand. I think a better way to clean this tote is actually get a second tote, put sh pine shavings in there, then move the birds over, then uh, clean up all the stuff, and then set all the feeder, water, and sand box back in, and they can stay in that tote, so I don't have to move them uh, back again. Then I think they'll be less stressed that way. There you go, a really simple, inexpensive setup to start keeping quail. I mean, it does not get easier than this. The next thing you have to do, of course, is uh, getting your birds. I recommend getting them around three weeks. If they're younger, um, they have to be under a heat lamp for at least until they're two weeks old. And at three weeks, it's kind of 
great because uh, of a couple of things. First of all, um, they don't need to be under the heat lamp. And secondly, you are you will be able to tell um, if they are males or females. So if you just want them for eggs, you want to have all females. You want a male if you want uh, your eggs be fertile and if you want to incubate your own eggs later then you'll want to keep a male You probably want to incubate your own eggs and hatch your own chicks. They are so cute so adorable and really addictive um, I'm gonna have a series of videos showing you how to exactly uh, start incubating your own eggs and the trick is the first two weeks of their lives. It's they are really tricky to keep alive. I have some tips and tricks that I can show you how I do it. Uh, so stay tuned for those videos that are coming up. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for some more exciting videos on quail raising. See you in the next video. Have a great day.